On the morning of June 28th, the first turbines of China's Baihetan hydropower station were officially put into operation, with a total installed capacity of 16 gigawatt, ranking second in the world after the Three Gorges hydropower station was 22.5 gigawatt. CCP's top leader Xi Jinping sent a congratulatory letter for the occasion. Premier Li Keqiang also gave his approval. Han Zheng, vice premier and member of the standing committee, attended the opening ceremony and announced the official operation start of the station. From this, it is clear that the project is of great importance to the Beijing authorities. On September 16, 2005, the world's largest hydropower plant, the Three Gorges Dam. Was put into operation was only then Vice Premier Zheng Peiyan in attendance, while then top leaders Hu Jintao and Wen Jiabao didn't do anything. According to mainland media reports, Baihetan Hydropower Plant is located on the main stream of Jinsha River at the junction of Qiaojia County in Yunnan Province and Ninan County in Sichuan Province, with a total investment of about 34 billion USD, which is 2.5 billion more than the Three Gorges project. The Baihetan project is the largest and most technically challenging hydropower project in the world. It consists of a dam, flood discharge and energy dissipation facilities, water diversion, power generation systems, and more. The normal storage level of the reservoir is 825 meters, with a total storage capacity of 20.6 billion cubic meters. The dam is a concrete double curvature arc dam with an arc length of 209 meters. An elevation of 834 meters and a maximum height of 289 meters. Mainland media reported that the plant is a very large hydropower project that was approved and started construction after the 18th National Congress in 2012. The main body was fully constructed by August 2017 and started being filled with water in April 2021, finishing in May 2021. The first two units were officially put into operation on June 28. Less than a month after the completion of the filling, the speed is simply astounding. Of course, the political implications of this is also very obvious, since July 1st is the 100th anniversary of the founding of the Chinese Communist Party. So this is yet another project dedicated to the celebrations, just like Sag Plaza in Shenzhen. Official mainland media reported that the scale of this project is enormous. It's located in the Torrid Valley of Jinsha River. Was very complex geological conditions. The overall construction difficulty is ranked first in the world. It also ranks first in the world in five technical specifications: capacity of a single turbine being one million kilowatts, size of the underground cavern, size of the cylindrical tailwater pressure regulator, seismic parameters of the 300 meter high arc dam, and the pressureless flood release system size. In addition, this is a dam built entirely with low heat cement concrete. In the congratulatory letter issued on June 28th, Xi Jinping said, "Baihetan Hydropower Station is a major national project that demonstrates west-to-east power transmission. All builders have contributed to the country's major construction project. This fully demonstrates that socialism is worked for and the new era is fought for." Jinsha River is the name for the upper reaches of the Yangtze River between Yushu and Yibin, with a total length of about 3,481 kilometers, a total elevation change of about 3,300 meters, and an average discharge rate of 4,750 cubic meters per second. Its basin area accounts for 26 percent of the Yangtze River basin area. The total hydroelectric potential of Jinsha River is 100 million kilowatts. Accounting for more than 40 percent of the Yangtze River, the Jinsha River is rich in hydropower resources. The 500-kilometer-long downstream section from Panzhuhua City to Yibin City in Sichuan has a drop of 719 meters. On this section of the river alone, China's Three Gorges Group has built four giant hydroelectric power stations. In addition to Baihetan Hydropower Station, the other three are Wudonghe. Xiluodu and Xiangjia Ba Station. The total installed capacity of the four power stations reached 46 gigawatt, accounting for half of the total installed capacity on the Jinsha River hydropower development plan. At present, the first units of Wudonghe Hydropower Station started operation in June 
while Silodu and Xiangjiaba Station have achieved full power generation in June 2014 and July 2014, respectively. Furthest upstream is the Wudonghe Hydropower Station, with a reservoir capacity of 3 billion cubic meters. About 120 kilometers downstream is the Baihetan Hydropower Station, with a capacity of 20.6 billion cubic meters. The Xilodu Station is about 170 kilometers downstream of that, with a capacity of 12.7 billion cubic meters. 110 kilometers downstream of Xilodu is the Xiangjiaba Station, with a capacity of 5.2 billion cubic meters. Then 30 more kilometers downstream is the city center of Yibin, which has a population of 5.5 million. The Geotechnical Survey and Engineering Group of Baihetan is the Power China Huadong Engineering Corporation. Chen Jianlin, the chief designer of the project, said that 21 hydropower stations are planned on the Jinshua River, with many stations connected one after another which maximizes the utilization of water resources. At the same time, through scientific scheduling, the flood control, ecology, power generation, and transportation will all be improved. Xi Jinping's congratulatory letter gave full recognition to the Baihetan project, and said, this fully demonstrates that socialism is worked for, and the new era is fought for. Xi's statement is in line with Beijing authorities' massive construction of numerous hydropower plants on the Jinsha River, which is in line with the CCP's longtime philosophy of conquering and transforming nature. However, the consequences of conquering and transforming nature is often the opposite of what's expected. Guided by this philosophy, the CCP built more than 100 reservoirs in the Zhumadian area of Henan province during the 1950s and 1960s. In August 1975, a super typhoon brought extremely heavy rainfall to Henan province, triggering a massive flood in the upper reaches of the Huai River and the collapse of smaller reservoirs starting on August 6. A total of 600 million cubic meters, equivalent to about 3% of the capacity of Baihetan Reservoir, flooded 30 counties and cities in Henan and Anhui provinces within a few hours, killing more than 26,000 people and causing over 200,000 unnatural deaths due to the epidemics and famine caused by the floods. Total affected population exceeded 10 million people. The Three Gorges Dam, the world's largest hydroelectric power plant, was a total installed capacity of 22.5 gigawatts and a reservoir capacity of 39.3 billion cubic meters, is a major project of the CCP to transform nature. During the design and demonstration period, the CCP advertised that the Three Gorges would not only bring considerable economic benefits in terms of water storage and power generation, but will also serve as a public utility for flood and drought control, as well as ecological regulation in the middle and lower reaches of the Yangtze River. From official propaganda, there seems to be nothing bad about the Three Gorges project, but in actuality, it may not be so good. In terms of flood control, the following are reports released by the official media in past years. June 1, 2003, Three Gorges Dam can withstand a 10,000-year flood. May 8, 2007, Three Gorges Dam can withstand a 1,000-year flood starting this year. October 21, 2008, Three Gorges Dam can withstand a 100-year flood. July 20, 2010, Yangtze River Water Resources Commission can't place all our hopes in the Three Gorges Dam. In 2020, not only did the Three Gorges Dam not play any role in preventing the flood, but to ensure the safety of the dam itself, it released water during the time of the flood, which aggravated the already severe flooding situation downstream. As the Yangtze River Basin entered its dry season this spring, the Three Gorges Dam started storing water for power generation. Sections of the river downstream were cut off, causing drought conditions to worsen and the Yangtze River to lose its natural storage function. In early 2020, Chinese media reported on the low water level of the Wuhan section of the Yangtze River, claiming that Wuhan had an additional beach to play on. On March 15th of this year, official media Xinhua reported that in the Yangtze River sections of Chengzi Town in Jiujiang City, part of a beach was exposed and many people came to play. The change and deterioration of the ecological environment is not mentioned in these reports. From how the official media is describing this, 
the Yangtze River drought almost seems like a good thing. In addition, some drawbacks of the Three Gorges project have already emerged, mainly siltation of reservoir sediments, inducing landslides in the reservoir area, changing the ecological environment in the reservoir area and downstream, altering species and their natural habits, and more. More seriously, some studies have concluded that once the Three Gorges Dam breaks, the affected population will reach 400 million people. Several city groups downstream of it, such as Yichang, Wuhan, Nanjing, and Shanghai, will suffer heavy losses. Dam failures tend to get worse and worse as floodwaters from upstream dam failures rush downstream, destroying more dams and accumulating more water that flow even more downstream. The four giant reservoirs on the Jinsha River, with a total storage capacity of 41.5 billion cubic meters, are just over 100 kilometers away from each other. And this section of the river is flanked by high mountains and has a large riverbed drop. So if one of them fails, the flood will destroy the dams downstream and rush down the Jinsha River, threatening to destroy the Three Gorges Dam, which is around 700 kilometers downstream of it. The reservoir of Baihetan Hydropower Station can flood a total of 110 administrative villages in 38 townships. A total of 102,000 people could be relocated, and approximately 21,150 acres of agricultural land could be affected. The nonprofit organization International Rivers has published a report saying that China's state-owned hydropower companies have largely failed to take responsibility for the damage to humans and the environment caused by their projects. The report said that due to time constraint, these state-owned hydropower companies often fail to inform the public about the impact of their projects on communities and the ecological environment.